Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing this look right here. This is inspired by the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Deepika Padukone in the film Padmavati, and I am so excited. I love everything traditional and historical, and it's just like so royal and regal. I really, really, really wanted to do this look, and yeah, this is the final outcome. But of course, I wanted to show you guys my inspiration photograph, which is this one right here. I wasn't feeling the hair so much, so I took the creative liberty to change it up a little bit. But other than that, I've tried to keep it. as similar as possible this is a recreation so yes let's get started i'm going to be starting with clinique moisture surge because the look is all about the skin so you have to make sure that your skin is looking and feeling fabulous so i'm just going to massage this into my skin so that my skin is nice and prepped for all of the layers that are going to come up then i'm taking this carmex lip balm and i'm going to be applying it on my lips as well because of course we're going for matte lips she's wearing matte lips and they should be prepared taking back our backlight filter primer literally i have nothing left i'm just like using like scooping out <laughs> the primer from this at this point and i cannot i cannot deal with myself i'm so obsessed with it so again just blending it into the skin her skin looks really healthy glowy yet very bronzed so i'm just going to be taking this corrector palette now and i'm going to be taking the orange color corrector and literally i'm going to correct almost all of my face but i'm going on every dark spot that i can see so i'm going to go on my under eyes on top of my eyes on the stupid stupid spot that i have on my nose which just like it just does not want to get covered up and a couple of spots here and there because the skin was really perfected like perfected so i'm just color correcting all of the areas where i think i have certain darkness so that the orange can counteract that and i can look like i have perfect skin And then I'm going to take my YBP Makeup Perfector and I'm just going to go over all of those areas to ensure that I have one thin even layer. You don't want a thick layer, you want a really nice even layer that will color correct but not be heavy on your skin as well. So I'm just going over all of that color correctedness before going into the foundation, which is going to be Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is currently my favorite. The color just matches me to the dot. All of the shades will be mentioned in the bottom bar, so make sure you open that up. And with that, I would also like to say you don't have to use everything that I'm using. You can literally use whatever works for you whatever you have in your stash this is what i'm going to be using because this is what's working for me and working for this look because she doesn't have like an overly dewy look she has a very soft demi matte look i'm going to be using this foundation and the primer so the mixture kind of makes that combination for me using maybelline instant age rewind concealer i'm just going to highlight my skin because she has really beautifully highlighted and bronzed skin which is something i loved generally there's like some some sort of attention given to the eyes or to the lips. but the skin is just left like a blank canvas like too perfect not bronze properly or not highlighted with this one the highlighting and the bronzing just took away my heart so i'm just going to be highlighting my skin first i'm not setting anything right now right now but i'm going to be doing cream as well as powder today because her skin was beautifully bronzed like i really loved it so i'm just blending all of that out before going in with these two shades from the nyx palette and i'm just going to contour my face like you can see me doing right here so i'm going to be contouring my cheekbones as well as my jawline i will be also contouring my nose but i'll do that later i'm going to blend it out while i'm applying it because i want to first blend it out with the brush and then go back in later with the sponge so i'm just blending it out with the brush first as i said i'm going to be contouring my nose i use just the lighter shade I didn't mix both of them so yes I'm just contouring my nose and then taking my sponge I'm just going to blend everything out to ensure that again there is no patchiness and there's like a nice even layer taking shade and light which is my absolute holy grail and this pro art brush I'm first going to try and pick up the yellow shade I'm just really like you can see how much I love it and I'm going to set my under eyes I'm just going to dust it very lightly very lightly I'm not going to over powder at all and then taking this orange color corrector I'm just going to apply it near my mouth so that there is no gray cast whatsoever taking this contour shade i'm just going to feather it into my skin like you can see i'm using very light strokes and feathering it in i'm literally just feathering it in to get a nice bronze contoured look i'm also going on my jawline and then i'm going to take this blush with a jessa brush now this blush is very very natural she doesn't have a lot of blush going on so i'm literally just touching it on my skin i'm not going with a lot of blush and also highlighter again she didn't have like 
crazy loads highlighter like I really pound on highlighter so I was like literally just being so light handed with this because I didn't want to go overboard and ruin the look so I'm just applying a very little amount very very teensy meansy amount and then taking this packed micro finish makeup spray like look at the mist guys look at how fine that is you need this spray in your life like you literally need this spray in your life quick little short time is so much more easier with this spray system like I love this setting spray I love it so yes I'm just gonna set everything with my sponge once again to pick up any excess powder and everything taking the next micro brow pencil I'm just gonna start with spooling my eyebrows out so there is no knot no nothing and then I'm gonna fill in I'm using a grayish slaty kind of a color because I am gonna be drawing on the unibrow the famous or the infamous unibrow that the pick up at the cone is sporting so I'm first just filling in my brows normally like I would do and just combing them out so that they're all nice and combed out and then I'm starting to draw vertical strokes connecting my eyebrow to the other eyebrow. I am following my natural hair growth pattern here. I've never really had a unibrow and it's really difficult for me to have a unibrow because my eyebrows are like very purely placed. So I'm going to be taking Benefit Gimme Brow next up and I'm going to be applying it on the center again just to get a little bit of different texture because this does have fibers in it as well. Now again as I was saying because my one of my eyebrow is like higher than the other one this is kind of difficult for me but I kind of managed you know like this is something very optional you can obviously skip it taking the NYX perfect filter palette this is the perfect palette for this look I'm using this beautiful warm tone shade and I'm gonna be putting this in my crease and just like blending this out that's a nice transition color I'm just building upon it like with a blending brush and then going in with this darker brown shade I'm using a Kylie brush so that's why I didn't mention it so yeah I'm just gonna build in this color in my crease as well she's a very nice and smoky outer corner but very natural smoky you know so I'm blending everything out to ensure that it's as natural but still smoky and then I'm taking this beautiful golden color she did definitely have some kind of a shimmer on her eyes like definitely especially in this photograph if you want I can leave a link in the bottom bar for you guys so that you can see like a bigger picture and then I'm taking this highlighting color and putting it in my inner corners and taking it slightly higher and then taking this bone color I'm gonna layer it up because I didn't want it to be as shimmery as the color was so yes I'm just taking it slightly higher taking Nika I'm 24 7 kajal I'm just gonna line my waterline upper lash line lower lash line kind of wing it out everything all together and literally guys this kajal I wore it for seven hours after this look because I just didn't wash off my face after this and it lasted on me all day long it was so 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 supremely surprising because um, even plum kajal lasts on me for like three four hours after which it fades away but this one was like bam there till the end of the day which was really surprising and very overwhelming so i'm just perfecting my liner with a wing liner brush if you're not comfortable with pencil you can definitely go in with gel liners to get that softer finish because you do want to blend it out a little taking this pack eyelash curler which is literally the only eyelash curler i can use she wasn't definitely wearing eyelashes at all so i didn't want to wear them either i would have liked to but i didn't want to so yeah i'm just taking these two mascaras and layering them on that pack lash curler again you guys you need that in your life it's the best eyelash curler ever and plus it does not get onto my skin all of the other eyelash curlers that I have they always get onto my skin but this one because it's so tiny and compact it doesn't so yes I'm layering two mascaras because I wanted the benefit of both of them and then taking two Colourpop matte lippy sticks I'm just gonna start off with pillow talk and I'm gonna apply it on my lips her lips are a very muted brownie nudie pinky kind of a look to it so I wanted to keep it that way as well so I'm layering both of these lippy sticks these are beautiful colors and yeah that is literally the look I wore this beautiful lenga from Color Me Desi and I wore the jewelry that I got custom made from Suhana Arts and Jewels and Shah Project my favorite place like literally how gorgeous is this jewelry it's literally the same she made everything literally the same for me and the lenga I chose because of the color because I wanted the color to be the same like what she was wearing and I loved how this look turned out guys it's a beautiful look which focuses on beautiful bronze glowy yet demi matte skin and it's literally you can just add anything to this look you can take away the unibrow you can add a little bit more shadow you can just add a bit of brighter lip color and just the jewelry and the outfit is what speaks in this look that's what stands out in this look and I really wanted to keep it that way as well and yeah this is the finished look I'm sorry if it took a little bit more time I just wanted to make sure everything was as perfect as it could be and I wanted to make sure that I give my best to you guys as well 
so yeah it took me slightly longer if I was like six old month me Shreya then I would have done this in a t-shirt and called it a day and not care anything about it but yeah that was the look and I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe it would mean a lot to me and I will see you guys super soon till then take care I love you all so 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 much Mwah. bye